Hey everyone, it's the Untouchable Wolf here, coming to you with a Back to the Future edition Call of Duty Black Ops style. Yes, I said those infamous words us MW3 fans do not want to hear, but I want to share with you my first 100 kill game I got in Black Ops, and I also want to put it in spectacular HD, as well as sharing my overall experience in this game. First, I want to say that I hope you all are doing good, enjoying life, and having fun on Xbox Live and with any other games that you might be playing. Because a lot of people forget the simple rule, have fun. Now I'm all into playing MW3, Skyrim, Gears of War 3, and NBA 2K12. Now with each new upload I do, I'm going to be giving you a very special tip of the day. So here is my very first tip of the day for you all. Do not let anyone get you down, especially guys or girls who talk trash over Xbox Live. You will never meet them, so who cares? Now make sure you subscribe to me and like this video because it truly helps my channel grow. Thanks. And for all you football fans, it's Super Bowl week. Who are you going for? Let me know in the comment section. I am a big Tom Brady fan, so I think the Patriots are going to win it. But the Giants are beating all the top teams this year, so they better watch out for a repeat of the last time they played in the Super Bowl. And plus, Eli Manning gets lucky, especially in the fourth quarter. Now on to my gameplay. I'll never forget my first 100 kill game, and how nervous I was at the end when there's about a minute left, and I needed 10 more kills to get over 100. So this really was a special and amazing experience for me, and I'll never forget it. Now while you're watching my gameplay, leave me a comment, and tell me about some of your exciting memories or even epic fails during your Call of Duty Black Ops experience, or even MW3 up to this point. I can tell you, a couple weeks ago, I was playing Domination on the map Village, I had 22 straight gun kills, and at the end, they all rushed me at Flag C, and I didn't get my mole out. But it's okay, because it's all about having fun. Now here I am playing Demolition using the Gold G11. I loved using the G11 as well as the M16 because they were so accurate and deadly in Black Ops. I just hooked it up with the ACOS scope and my Superman symbol and you see I have gold camo and I was good to go. Now I was a little disappointed at first that MW3 made the M16 so weak but now I have the ACR and MP7 which are truly amazing and fun to use. These are two of the best guns in the game. I do remember that I was playing during the Nuketown 24-7 event and I was playing by myself, which is why I think getting 100 kills is that much more impressive because as you know, when you play by yourself, there are times when you're playing with noobs and they just want to do their own thing. For example, when you play in Domination, you generally want to capture two out of three flags and defend them and get as many kills as you can, but sometimes a lot of guys just want to run around and capture the flags. But it's okay, because it's all about having fun. But when you are playing Demolition, and you want to get the most kills possible, you want the game to last all three rounds, especially on the map Nuketown. Now I do remember telling my teammates not to defuse the bomb during the second round, so he can make that round last as long as possible, because I was on a really good kill streak. Now you see I'm using the kill streaks Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs. And I knew going into round 3 I would have a shot at 100 kills because I was doing so good and my teammates listened and I really appreciate that. And I told them that after the match. Now when I look back in time, Black Ops helped me become overall a better player. And has led me to become a really good player in MW3 and also to help you with strategies and tips. I will never forget those special times I had with friends during my Black Ops experiences. Those nights playing Nuketown 24-7, getting all those double XP points, it was truly a lot of fun, and I will never forget it. Yes, Black Ops is an amazing game, but I love MW3 so much more. The guns are deadly and awesome, the maps are really fun to play on, and going after MOAs are especially exciting too. Nuketown would always be one of my favorite maps, and I have favorites in MW3, such as Interchange, Dome, and Lockdown. And I can't wait for everyone to have the new maps, Piazza and Liberation, because they're a lot of fun too. So if I had the DeLorean, I would not go back in time to my Black Ops days, but to the future with MW3 and the new games that await in the future. 
I hope you all enjoy my video. Subscribe, like, and leave comments. Thanks and take care. And remember to have fun.